Hello, fellow skate enthusiast. Today, as you can see, we have the Flying Eagle Drift Carbon 2. These skates I purchased a few weeks ago from Inline Warehouse. To be perfectly honest, I haven't done much with them besides stand on them around my house just to see how they feel. They are a rockered frame. Uh, as you can see, the front and back wheels are about one millimeter higher than the two center wheels. Um, this is, you know, to provide more maneuverability uh, for slalom skating, freestyle, uh, you know, uh, different types of uh, tricks and maneuvers. Um, you know, uh, the wizard type of skating. Uh, this is a carbon boot. Um, I've never actually owned a shell, uh, a skate with a carbon boot. I've never actually had one with a carbon boot and an integrated liner like this one. Uh, so that's what really uh, caught my attention on this inline skate was because it was something that I've, I've never tried on before. I've never felt the feeling of a carbon boot uh, with the integrated liner. Most of the stuff I've had ha has been that hard plastic, hard shell uh, with the removable liners. Um, so I, I figured, hey, these do come in my size, in a size 48, which is uh, a Mondo point of 32 centimeters, according to Flying Eagle. My foot does measure a 31.5 centimeters. So I figured, hey, these would fit. Uh, they did. They are true to size. My foot did foot fit in. Uh, I, I did feel like my toes were like right at the, the tip. Uh, they could possibly touch a little, um, depending on how I was pushing or moving my foot around in there. But uh, the width, everything else was okay. Um, obviously, brand new skates, they're going to be a little snug. They're going to require you to break them in. This shell is heat moldable uh, to my understanding. You can remove all the plastic bits, uh, throw it in the oven and uh, heat mold it uh, and just put all the pieces back on obviously off after it forms to your foot and you lace it all up. Uh, obviously uh, I didn't do that because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these skates. Um, they are a very expensive skate. They normally do retail for about $800. I was fortunate enough to catch them on sale. Um, I did pay uh, something around, I think it was uh, $429 for these skates, which is uh, a really good deal considering it's a, it's a carbon boot. And we all know that, you know, carbon skates are, are pricey, you know, they're five, six hundred dollars, seven, easy. Uh, they're very expensive skates. Um, now, I can't speak from, uh, you know, from point of reference because I haven't used them yet. I have st stood up on them. I kind of messed around a little bit in my living room, you know, to get a, a kind of a feel for them. Uh, again, I, I didn't want to take them outside or, or do anything else like that with them until I was sure I was going to keep these. Uh, I just obviously did it more for sizing. And so if you do have a big foot like me and you're looking for something, you know, that, that is different, this is a very viable option for you here because it does come up to a size 48 and it is true to size, unlike some other skates that say they, they go bigger, but they actually don't fit like the true size. This will fit you if you do have, I, I wear a size 15 sneaker. Again, I'm a 31.5 centimeter Mondo point, you know, foot size. And these go up to a size 48, which is a 32 centimeter Mondo point, according to Flying Eagle. And they are true to size. So... Bigfoot skater out there, try these out, see if they're for you. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these yet. Uh, beautiful skate. Everything about them uh, is, is great, down from the, the construction of the buckles to, uh, you know, uh, the, the frame uh, being rockered. Uh, every, the color scheme, everything about it is beautiful. I'm going to try to show you, see if I can take the camera in a little closer over here, give you a little better view here but uh beautiful skate i know the lighting down here is horrible but uh, i just want to give you an idea of, of what this skate looks like just you know very very good looking skate i mean uh honestly I, i'm very tempted to keep these and uh, see how it goes um i'm kind of tossing between these and the fr skate so uh i will make a follow-up video and uh let you know which ones I do decide on. But again, highly uh, recommend these if you know this is the style of skating you're into uh, with the rockered frame and the carbon boot. 
with the integrated liner. Um, and if you do have a bigger foot, these will fit you. Again, these are the Flying Eagles Drift 2 Carbon. And again, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like and subscribe. And uh, I will follow up with an update. Thank you. Have a good day, all.